Frozen. It's uh, it's finished. The optic and laser is not set in stone. We're not going to paint the optics until uh, they've had a, a chance to check out a couple of different optics. Uh, this one's put on just for proof of concept. Uh, see what's going on with it. We've got the uh, dual. Uh, it's the center mass laser, uh, and it's uh, it's a dual lens. Where you, you see the green laser over there. This one's a center mass where it's got all the different ones. And then it can also be changed to just a single lens. Uh, and so, especially in low light, that reticle, or you know, the laser right there, it's projected way out there. And you can actually use the multiple laser points as a projected reticle. It's really a neat thing. Um, so, either way, I'll get some better shots of this some better video uh, but this is the Mosin all finished up uh, haven't had a chance to run it yet but it turned out pretty good um, let me clamp this down so I can one handedly rack the bolt here hasn't been fired or run much yet so it's there's a little bit of stick to it right there but that just is going to come from just simply from running it a little bit but you know if you got you guys know Mosins and stuff that's pretty good uh, here is my trigger it's a custom trigger work that I do uh, it is a flat trigger face with a little bulge at the bottom and we've got about a three and a half pound pull right there's your take up and then your your drop these are all factory mose and trigger parts here and so you're very limited to what you can do with it uh, I mean this is even after welding up spots on it and, and changing some things take up three and a half pound break and that's the best I can do without changing the trigger out to like a Timney or something like that uh, it's a very big improvement over factory I mean you see what your reset is so it's not much but either way uh, this is it so tell me what you think guys